In these populations, we want to be um, thoughtful in how we are preventing infections. And so we talked earlier on about um, MRSA and VRE, and these are two bacteria, uh, MRSA predominantly in the nares and VRE um, predominantly in the, in the GI tract, that can colonize um, patients. Those patients then can um, colonize the environment around them and can be a source of infection uh, for others. And so in these special populations, one thing that has been um, done is to do regular surveillance. So oftentimes patients coming into the hospital and then on somewhat of a regular basis, um, weekly is, is one practice, are, are swabbed in both the nares and in the rectum looking for MRSA and VRE. And if someone is colonized or otherwise has a clinical culture that turns positive, they're then put into a private room and um, we wear gowns and gloves and in going into the room to try and prevent transmission um, to other patients in the hospital. Now we do similar things um, uh, for patients that are found to be colonized or infected with certain resistant gram negatives. Um, so for instance, if we have found that we have an uptick in our CRE rates, then we will do rectal swabs for um, carbapenem resistant enterobacteriaceae. Um, we don't necessarily do that for other gram negatives, but if we found that they have high levels of drug resistance, we will put them on contact precautions um, as well. Other things that we uh, do in these patient populations um, is decolonization of the skin. And so there's been a big push for uh, daily chlorhexidine bathing. And so at our hospital, we've been doing that both in our ICU populations as well as in our oncology and bone marrow transplant populations. And the idea here is that as you're hospitalized, you are colonized with uh, various bacteria. And this goes beyond um, kind of the common things we know about, but if you are doing uh, daily bathing with chlorhexidine, um, you're kind of removing the um, skin colonizers of all types. It has been linked to lower risk of uh, bacteremia, particularly MRSA um, bacteremia, but there have also been um, some studies showing um, lower rates of UTI, um, probably because of uh, reductions in um, gram-negative colonization. Now the other thing we do in these populations is focusing on prevention bundles. And so um, I had mentioned that patients who are, say, getting chemotherapy will have long-term um, uh, lines in place, central lines. And so things that uh, we do around um, insertion of those lines, trying to um, put those in in a sterile manner, and then also focused on maintenance. And so we may have things like a um, chlorhexidine patch at the point of entry. Uh, we may have alcohol line locks uh, to prevent um, the seeding of bacteria into the uh, distal end port. And then the nurses have a lot of um, work on what we call scrub the hub and trying to uh, prevent colonization of these uh, longer term catheters. Um, now we have similar uh, bundles in place for um, urinary catheters, similar bundles in place for um, ventilated patients and trying to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections and uh, ventilator-associated pneumonia, respectively.